Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint where I'm once again bimbling around the city trying to find some checkpoints and trying to um trying to grab them and there's a hunter who's trying to find me and grab me or rather shoot me. Um so the idea behind the game is that there are five hunters sorry five checkpoints scattered around maybe it's not a hunter actually it's driving a bit too sensibly there are five checkpoints scattered around the city they will be shown to me one at a time and i can go and try and get them if i manage to get all five checkpoints then go i win the game yourself. if the hunters of which there are several manage to um manage to stop me by by shooting me dead basically or running me over or by any killing me in any way or shape or form they like then they win the game and so i'm obviously trying to survive and get all the checkpoints without this happening we have quite a few hunters today. Um, we've got, let's see, we've got uh, Mike in orange, we've got Max in pale blue, we've got Tristan in purple, Mar uh, Pete in dark green, Mark in light green, and Ed in yellow. So if you see any brightly, ob obnoxiously bright cars in those colours hurtling around the city with typically underglow, headlights, everything in those colours, then there's a fairly high chance that it's one that uh, it's one of them and they're out they're, they're out hunting me. Now to make it a bit easier for them to find me. We have a rule that says well, we have a, a mode thing that that uh, where there is a blip on their maps that follows around follows the, follows me around the city and it's always 400 meters behind me, following exactly the same route that I'm taking. The idea is that this means they get a, a rough idea of where I am in the city and it enables them to sort of to to to, to try and track me down and get to roughly and, and get into the about the right sort of area. Oop, there goes that was definitely Mark. That looked like Tristan two blocks up. Yes, yeah, so they're definitely around here and. As I stated, they're a bit behind me because that's how the game works. So they they know roughly where I am, and oop, that looks like Max and probably Ed in the two two SUVs going past there. Uh, let's try and drive smoothly while they're around and hope they didn't notice me. I don't think they did. That's good. Okay, we'll pull a right turn here and just get to get me out of this area a little bit and pass around here. And mm, I don't want to go through the movie studios because that'll look very very suspicious. So, um, yes, what am I saying? So yeah, they, they, they're all looking for me. They've got the blip that follows 400 meters behind me on the map to give them a clue as to where I am. So they're going to be using that to try and to track me down. And so that's why I'm taking a lot more corners than I often would in this. Um, because if I take lots of corners, it makes it a bit less pr easy to predict where I'm going. Now, the, prop the only down slight downside is that I am definitely heading kind of, kind of, that's the wrong button, kind of south across the city. Um, which, if there's a general trend in my movement, oh, there's Tristan in another radius, and Pete, Pete in a mini, um, if there's a general trend in, of direction in my movement, then that might, might help them track me down. So if they can see that I'm mostly going south, then they'll sort of start to expect that, as I, as I do. So I need to try and throw in a few sort of random moves to try and put them off. The other problem is that I need to get to the airport loop exit checkpoint, which is a difficult one to take at the best of times, um, because as you start to head down that way, it becomes more and more obvious that you're heading to the airport until you are quite clearly inside the airport, uh, in, inside the airport loop, then there's only one checkpoint I could possibly be going for. And so, because of that, I feel like I need to do something, something clever in order to take it and get away. Oh. Peter's, Peter's shot uh, Mike and been killed in, in, in retribution, automatically killed in retribution for that. Well done there. I, pre I, I approve of this, this as, a, um, as a hunter strategy. Um, it makes things a little bit easier for me because then we have to, they have to respawn, they have to go and find some new cars and so on. Um, so that makes things, yes, a little bit easier for me. So I'm a fan of that happening. Uh, let's come back out of red car, but I can go this way. So... <laughs> okay, so Pete and Mike are just squabbling now, it turns out. And again, this is a good thing for me because if they're if they're messing around like that, then that makes gives me a bit of a chance. Now, as I was saying, airport loop exit is a very difficult one to take, so I'm going to I'm going to head down there a bit more quickly than I normally would. So I'm going to put some speed down in this direction. I'm going to I am going to admittedly telegraph where I'm going rather rather severely. Oh, I should have picked up a faster car for this. If I blaze down there in a sports, right? Because I I have a plan. And we're going to see whether this works. It's probably not going to work, but it's either going to be amazing or comically bad. Either way, I think it's worth doing. But anyway, I don't feel bad about going down towards airport loop exit at, at a bit of speed because it is the hardest checkpoint in the game by a significant margin. And to do what I'm planning to do, I think I need a little bit of a, a head start on them. So... Um, yeah, that's, as soon as they basically as soon as they see me anywhere down this sort of way, 
which is going to be have been a short time ago at least if not if not sooner as soon as they, they know that I'm down here they know that I'm going for airport loop exit things are going to get difficult so what I plan to do is take that checkpoint like that and then go down here if I hit this at the right angle like that there we go. You've probably guessed what my plan is by now, I suspect. I don't know if this is going to work, but if it does, it'll be amazing. Uh, yes, I'm going to try and fly out of here. Um, and then land somewhere. I don't know where. And then try and get in the plane, you muppet. Get in the plane. Come on, I need to go before the hunters get here. It's going to be really obvious what I'm doing, so I need to. How do you how do you plane? Okay, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way because if they ram into me, I suspect I'm going to be in trouble. This is grass. This is not a runway, but it'll do. Please have enough. Please have enough room to take off. Yes, there we go. Right. Okay. So now. They're probably going to guess what I've done. I can't... I can't plane very well. And it's foggy, which is going to make it even harder. Don't crash, Lawrence. That'd be embarrassing. <laughs> right, okay. We'll uh, showboat a little bit over the airport and then try and head back up over to towards the next checkpoint. Or at least, I say towards the next checkpoint. I don't actually want to go towards the next checkpoint. I just want to go anywhere away from here where there's going to be room to land this, this, this plane. So... That probably means one of the motorways, and the hope is that the hunters are going to be so thrown off by the fact that I'm doing aircraft speed that they won't be able to keep up. They'll have no idea. They'll, yeah, they're just going to struggle to keep up and, and, and get anywhere near me. And I'm hoping that's going to give me enough time and chat, an opportunity to do to actually put touch the plane down safely. Now, last time I did try doing something like this once before, um, and this was. Uh, it didn't work very well because I'm not very good at flying these planes in GTA, it turns out. So I ended up crashing and burning. Um, so this time I'm going to try and find a highway to land on. But, you know, I spend all my time driving, so I haven't had very much practice at flying. Right, OK, there we go. I've got I've got far enough away now. I want, here's, here's a nice big piece of highway. Let's try not to... A little bit more speed than that. Need to go over here and then come down here. Oh, there we go. Perfect touchdown. Now, for reasons, there aren't actually any cars around here for me to steal. Here comes one. Let's go and get that. Ten <laughs> the funniest part of this is that technically we have a rule that says hunters aren't allowed to use a vehicle class unless I've used it and they get SUVs, compacts and sedans to start with for free so they've got something to drive at the beginning of the game. Now technically I think that means the hunters are now allowed to fly aircraft. Oh no 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 sorry, sorry no I'll take that back because they're only allowed to use them if they've seen me seen me using them so and identified it as me so maybe that means they're not actually allowed to use aircraft I don't actually know <laughs> it's one it's one we can argue about in the uh, on in chat afterwards and, and and see what see what see what everyone thinks but I feel that um, firstly that was funny enough that I don't I don't care I, um, I'm I'm pleased <laughs> sufficiently pleased with that escape especially as I think the hunters are using aircraft I heard an aircraft go over in um, at low altitude it sounded like a plane so <laughs> okay I mean I think that's fair I use an aircraft the hunters can use aircraft I have no problem with that I'm um, yeah I think that's going to be I think that's quite good. So, yeah, sure. Let's let them. Let's let them have their aircraft. Oops! Suddenly it's daytime. That was bright and unexpected. So one of the things we've got in um, in our rules these days is we have what we call uh, checkpoint effects, and that's where occasionally when I take a checkpoint, something random and unexpected will happen. Um, in this particular case, it was suddenly it was noon. Other times it might be things like. Um, it, uh, tires pop or cars all turn blue. Things like, yep, that's a, that's a hunter using an aircraft. They're trying to touch down as well. <laughs> I mean, fair play to them. I 
I, I use an aircraft. I think it's now perfectly legitimate for them to use aircraft as well. I'm not. I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, just the. It seemed like the best way to take the um, the airport loop exit checkpoint with a certain amount of style and to make getting away easier. I just wish I was a bit better at flying aircraft, to be honest. I should. I need to practice a bit more. In fact, that would have been a good thing to practice before um, you know using it as a stunt. But never mind. Hey man, hey man, oh, there's Max. He's heading off onto the onto the motorway. That's acceptable. Right. I now need to get back into the mood of um, driving properly rather than doing silly nonsense things. <laughs> so let's try and take the game a little bit more seriously now. So as I was saying earlier, the best way I believe for me to avoid the hunters is to take lots and lots of corners all over the place like that um, and like this because the more corners I take the harder I'm going to be to sort of to track and follow. Um, that's my theory. Now there's such a th probably such a thing as too much. If I end up just going round and round in circles, then eventually they'll so they'll co they'll cotton onto that. And if I just zigzag back and forth, again there's a pattern, so they'll probably eventually cotton onto it. But if I can do a little bit of sort of a little bit of unpredictability, followed by perhaps a burst in the direction I want to go, and then going back round into going round the block once perhaps, and then going off in another random direction, I think that's going to be quite good for my survivability chances. So I'll go through here. This is me getting onto a big road actually which isn't ideal mm. um, but for now I'll do so you may also have noticed that a lot of the vehicles are very very brightly colored so this is what we could, we've termed 70s mode and it's where we, we go around and so in the nine in the nine in sort of the noughties the 2010s 2020s car colors are a bit boring to be honest with you there are a lot of grey cars, or a lot of monochrome, well, no, monochrome is the wrong way of putting it, a lot of grayscale cars around, whether that's silver, grey, black, white, they're all boring. So we've put in a system where, if we have it turned on, any cars that spawn in in those sort of non-colours will automatically get re recolored into some, into a completely random colour, it's a bit more interesting. And so, that has, on the, on the plus side, it makes, it makes the cars a bit more interesting, it means we can look around to see some, um, that's interesting. What? That's a rather fast car to be. Um, that car's going rather quickly. I mean, maybe that's why Ed was chasing it. I don't know, but that wasn't me. <laughs> I promise. Um, oh, what? Do not want. Why? Did, why? What? Why? Why? Why me? What? What did? What did I do to give me away there? Why is Ed now chasing? I have no. I thought he was following that F620 that was going past at about Mach three, but. Um, yeah. Apparently not. Apparently, he, well, he's then suddenly turned around and came attack. I, yeah, that's that, that's weird. I I don't know what gave me away there. I don't didn't think they saw me when I was um, shenanigans around with the airplane. So I don't think think they've identified my player model. Could it be that I've used one that isn't doesn't spawn in cars and Ed knows the game better than me? I don't, I don't know. I'll have to ask about that because it's always interesting to know how a hunter has spotted me, especially when it's that vicious an attack dead straight on he wasn't I mean he wasn't he wasn't guessing he just went straight for me and I'm not allowed to take also the rules are oops, sorry, rules. the guidelines are that I'm not allowed to take checkpoints when uh, when in a chase so I'm trying to avoid that also I don't want to be beaten up by that lorry driver Let's see if I can actually go forward in this gallivanter this is an unfortunate vehicle to be in because it's a bit rubbish um, I'd rather have that radius that Tristan's driving, for example. That's a much better vehicle for this sort of shenaniganry. It handles a bit better than the uh, Galavanter. It seems to be about the same speed. I was, I was, I was wondering about that. Um, it's a much better vehicle for this sort of stuff. But I used a radius quite extensively in the last... That's a tree. I used a radius quite extensively in the last run and therefore don't want to again. Now, Eddie's also in a Galavanter, so I can't... If, if he catches up with me, then I can't complain to... I can't, I can't say it's anything to do with the cars. Uh, oh, no, Mike. I couldn't really do much about that, it was just <laughs> there, suddenly there was Mike and couldn't really dodge him. Um, okay, a bit of car hatting, sure, that'll help, help get me out of here, I suppose. Don't, oh, at least, uh, now the Gallivanter is going to do quite well when it's un coming under, under fire like that, because it's, it's got the bulletproof tyres, um, because it's because it's worse than a coupe, as as the rule goes, as we've I've explained before, we have a mod on the, where any any car that's worse than a coupe will get bulletproof tyres. But it just again to as another encouragement to use slightly wider. The plane, 
slightly wider who left that there yes it was me i know um a slightly wider variety of cars um what was i saying yeah so so i get bulletproof tires which means if i'm getting shot at as long as they don't hit me it kind of doesn't matter um because they can't take out my tires yes they can put bullet holes in the car but that doesn't really again in gta gta physics says that doesn't actually matter particularly the car is fine with a load of bullet holes in it it'll just it'll keep going quite happily that's that's so yeah being shot at is not too much of an issue let's go on here Ooh, i think one of them didn't so that's good um yes that's got me a bit of space because huh, i think i duked towards it as if i was going to take it then then pulled away from it then actually did take it oh have i done that too slowly yes i have come on have a bit of grip you're four by four have some grip and get moving again the minis are much better at flinging around corners than I am, unfortunately. So perhaps that was a slightly unwise manoeuvre. Um, can I out outrun a mini? I don't know. I'm suspecting there's a fairly fair, fairly high chance I can't. But we'll oh, see how it goes. I can't if I do that. Is that black smoke? No, no, the black smoke is not coming out of my car. That's okay, then. Uh, let's go around here. Can I escape? I can escape. Nice. Uh... <laughs> Can I escape the hunters? That's more doubtful. Let's turn the blip off so that they can't use it to track me. Um, that way, if I do manage to pull off some sort of cunning escape, like falling into a hole like that, I mean, maybe if I turn it off a little bit sooner, I might have just stayed in there and gone, yes, this is a nice hole. I shall, I shall wait here for a moment and see if the hunters go away. Um, that was not to be because um, I, I hadn't turned the blip off at that point, so they, they'd know that I'd, I'd stopped moving. And there's only so many places you can hide in an area like that. Ooh, Ed didn't take the corner quite as well as I did. Um, I was thinking, oh, I took that one horribly badly. Though, let's go back. This, let's just try and get moving any direction. It's one thing. One thing I've noticed about GTA vehicles, and I think actually there might be an element of realism in this, which is quite rare for GTA, if we're being honest. Um, but when if when a vehicle is stopped, it's quite hard to get it going again especially as my instinct is just to pull on the accelerator as hard as I can or you know floor it basically I just absolutely floor it and I think if I was a bit more subtle wow that, okay that mini's a bit is quite a bit quicker than me let's try and take it with me a little bit so I can't turn around there we go um what was I saying yeah so if, if you just pull on the trigger I think vehicles don't really start moving very well and I need to stop doing that and just being a bit more a little bit more gentle with the power um, so that the tyres don't spin quite as much and I can put the power down a little bit better. But unfortunately that's not really something you can practice in the middle of a chase like this because there's a load of hunters, if you don't pull off as quickly as possible, there's going to be a load of hunters trying to make your life difficult um, because they're going to suddenly be a bit closer to you than they expect it to be. So it's something I need to try between runs basically, to try and get a little bit better at accelerating away from stationary. Um, and at least investigate if that's a, if that's a, if that's a, if it's a, um, a car thing or a me thing, or or if it's a game thing or if it's a, a, a me pulling on the accelerator too hard thing, because either is possible. It might it might just be that that is how the cars work, and it's difficult to pull off from stationary because you have to get three tons of, of Range Rover moving again, or it might be that I'm just not driving properly. I'm just ab absolutely flooring it, spinning the tyres, and nothing. And therefore, nothing is happening. Um, some res further research is required, is basically what I'm trying to say. Ah, radius. Um, okay, so this is proving difficult, should we say. I haven't quite got to the desperation level of let's go and ditch it in the water, because there's only so many times I can do that trick before it starts to feel unimaginative, and they're going to go, oh, he's heading down the, ro the, ro the, yeah, the road towards the um, airport again, he's just going to ditch it in the water and swim across, to the, uh, swim across to the beach, because that's what he always does. And I don't want to get to that point. I'd like, to the, I'd like the runs to be a little bit more interesting than that. <laughs> Bat them around a little bit. Cause, uh, take take a brief advantage of having the heavier vehicle. I did manage. The, I did. I didn't spit, say it quite quickly enough, but I did manage the uh, the rare double end or braking maneuver there, where you you slam your brakes on and one hunter goes flying past on either side, which is very satisfying. Um, <clears throat> normally they've they've learnt that I like the end or braking maneuver, so they tend to. Um, oh, Mark had a big problem there. They tend to get into the position so they're um, they're directly behind me, especially Tristan. He's he's learned very well that I. That I end or breaking manoeuvre him when I get any any opportunities at all. I looked away from it. <laughs> Who's that in the jet fighter? That's ridiculous. I mean, I I think because I haven't seen him for a while and I know what he's like, I have a very strong suspicion that that's Max. Um, now, to be fair, I I use an aeroplane, so yeah, I can't really complain about that too much. I wonder whether they're going to 
I mean, he, he can't use it to attack with because that's definitely against the rules. You're not allowed to shoot from vehicles. We've had that discussion. Um, but if he's planning to, um, but if he's planning to use it for scouting and, and looking for me, that could be quite interesting. And it might be an unexpected um, side effect of my escape there that they now have eyes in the sky and another way to try and spot me when I try and do a try and try and escape, <clears throat> which is going to be very interesting if I do the ditch the car in the water and try and swim away manoeuvre because a plane is going to be better at that sort of scouting than a, lo than a bunch of hunters standing around on the sides. Uh, uh, pillar. <laughs> ah, that was problematic because we had... I could get away from Tristan to an extent. Oh no, I'm stuck the wrong way up. Duck, duck, duck. Where's the bullet? Where's the shooting coming from? I can't tell. I think it's from behind. So that's... Oh, Max. Yeah, it was Max in the plane. He's just crashed it into something. So that's that's that, that's good from my point of view. Let's use one hunter to push the other one around a little bit. Oh, there's a pillar there again. Ah, this is difficult. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, I was considering going in here, but only slightly considering it. Oh, no, this is problematic. This is very problematic. I think I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Oh well, I got to try the plane escape, so I'm happy. It is not lost. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Apparently Mike's not a team player. Might be in a car park. In a car the park, yeah. He's gone into airport. Oh. Is he allowed to do what? that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He can go wherever he wants. He can go to the north end of the island oh, if he wants. No, I know, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm going to the other exit right now. No, uh, he's probably it taking the there. highway out, given the speed he's going. Oh, hello, Pete. Hello. There's a plane up here. He wouldn't do that, would he? Star oh, Wars yeah. reference. I'm disappointed nobody got it. The whole is he allowed to do that? For that from Star Wars, do? Yeah, from the, it's from the Phantom Menace. It, there is a plane up here. He that. well could be flying. Actually, he, uh, he's it followed that loop. He's in a plane. I'm what? almost certain. Yeah, look at the speed the dot's moving right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And where it is. Yeah, he's in a plane. Yeah. Okay. Well, planes are unlocked. Yeah. Planes are unlocked. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, his issue is going to be he doesn't get a parachute. Right, now yeah. I need to find Oh, oh gallery checkpoint is the one that's gone. Yep. There's a bridge there. No, 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 engine's back on. The bridge. <laughs> We're about to see if Pete died. No, I did it. What you will see is that the, mo the highway by Art Gallery has now got a plane in it. Shooting. Yeah, I had a lorry suddenly start to reverse in front of me, so I shot it. Okay. Hey, uh, this is sussy. Um, I've got like an orange-ish SUV that's acting very weird. Is it moving at speed now? Yeah, well, as fast as SUV can go, yes. In that case, it's him. Where is he? Uh, we just turned on to uh, Hollywood Boulevard, heading towards Peggy Back Cockatoos. This has got to be him because it's. Uh, east on Hollywood Boulevard, still going. Uh, it's straight line speed. Okay, south, south at uh, the club, if you know where that is, heading towards the mall. East side of the mall. It's like an orangish, peachish color. It's really hard to describe. This one. Yeah, 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 that's it. Right? That's hey, definitely. Uh... 
Watch Vita. Top. Where are you? Actually, I think that might be Mark's He's... character. No. Oh. Um, heading Where east, it? one road north from shopping centre. Okay, I'm along north. I'm on the road that goes along north side shopping centre, heading east. He is turning oh, south at the far end of it. Uh, going off road, in, straight into some trees. Into a tree. <laughs> That's an IGN. Uh, south. Oh. There you go. Hit him. Good, good. Nah. Ah! You know him Just out. Just came between us. Alright. Onto the highway or? No, um, no he's on the bridge. Uh, I'm underneath him. Slightly pinned. Oh, no, not quite enough. I hear Bruce Tide, but I don't know who's. No, Tide's all bulletproof. Oh, I thought Ow. I heard a burst of that. Sorry, sorry, I hit you. Sorry. He's currently going onto the, on highway, the highway, heading west. Yeah. Ah. Hey, he found my plane. <laughs> so yeah. I, though. He's oh, crashed, he's upside down, he's rolling, he's struggling to recover. He's recovered, he's heading west, he's been. He's just having a bit of a bad day, really. That wasn't my plane, that was his plane. He landed on the yeah. highway, too. Stop on the highway. Uh, he's... He's, he's now reversing east along the highway. See it? Where about? Uh, Correct on the highway. Pillbox Hill. On the bar on the highway. Yeah. Pillbox He's taking the hospital, jumped down. You bugger. He duped Pete, but... And then I hit a tree. Uh, he's now <laughs> heading north on the right side of the highway. Also known as the wrong side of the highway because America. Um, heading north up the highway, he's Peter. done a hard 180 Onto to apparently road. stall his car out. Yep. Mike! Thank you. I was a bit too dainty on that one. He's proceeding onto the highway heading east. What's he? Hey, crossing buddy. over to the correct side of the road. And taking the jump off by, I think that's where it's factory down to industrial. Yeah. Uh, temporary loss, actually, from my point of view. I don't see He's behind him. the building, he's behind the diner, he's behind the diner. Go that way. Oh, wait, there he is, coming out. There he is, the, heading uh, south. Arcade. There you go. <clears throat> heading towards Alice Customs. Heading south. Turning right onto the That's bridge. Exactly. Heading bridge towards... Templar Hotel. Squares. Yeah, Spurs, Spurs. Yep. Uh, edge of squares, squares. South of that. Oh, I made it. Zero gas station, turning left of the hospital. He has bend it again. That's good, because I did that as well, and he didn't do that. <laughs> I, I did it left into a petrol Four station. Up. As... <laughs> into a... oh. And right? right at the end. Parallel with the end of the car park road. Mm -hmm. Alongside the rail lines. Crossing the rail line, lines on the bridge. On your left, Tristan. There you go, nice you into him. Thank you. He's heading south, south. towards docks. Oh, right, okay. Here's the underground bit. Turning right just before the underground. Heading back over the bridge towards Ghetto. If you think you can do it, go for it. Uh, suiciding won't mean we win, though. Are we still playing um, that rule? I think so, because it's so... It spoils it, I think. Okay. Just heading through Ghetto, Ring of Fire. Uh, square squares, north, west side. Turning left, north, north edge. Oh, I got wiped out by an NPC. North, uh, towards the Hill Tunnel. Not taking the tunnel, turning west. Not going onto the highway. Uh, south to Arcadius, hit a car. West. Out of higher lower. 
north towards shopping centre. Playing chicken with another car for some reason. Uh, west at shopping centre. Towards Parklands. Yep. Fitted me. Uh, turn to the hospital. Through hospital. Heading uh, north from there. Towards the local car parks. So that's other local car parks. Heading west. I turned left. A poor statue. Passing a little statue now. Approaching five ways. That's a five ways. He hit someone. And me. Yep. yep. Onto the grass. I rolled here last time. Going onto the highway. Managed not to roll. Uh, approaching colourful car park. Pitting him. Well, not pitting him, apparently. Did you say exit there or? Exiting there, yes, sorry. Uh, south of the colourful car park. And uh, doubling back, not on the highway, uh, east. East there. Art gallery. Yep. Almost art gallery. This is art gallery. To your right. Red car park, north side. Approaching dog leg. Straight across there, lower. Uh, left in lower towards the box hill tunnel and in post. Sideways into another one. And Pete rolled him upside That's down him. somehow. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here to help. Uh, Max has arrived. Or not the case, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Into the car park, maybe. He is pinned. No, he's not. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. There nice. we go. There we go. Ed did your job for you. <laughs> I, I was ah. really trying to get in the back of his car again. It's, it's something I wanted to do. I felt. <laughs> What, what, how am I going to get away from airport loop this time? It's always difficult. I know. Let's do something that was a neat novel. idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Did I you was... try and take a checkpoint in it? I did not, no. Um, I, I, I'm not that good at flying. I, the, landing it on the motorway was about the, the limit of my abilities. 